Hey, hello everybody, welcome back to Gran Turismo 3. Alright. This, this is it. <laughs> this is it, as they say, you guys. We got the 555 Subaru, triple five Subaru. And how fitting <laughs> that this is the last rally event. Oh, the last rally event, you guys. The Swiss Alps reverse. The sound of exhaust reverberating in the Alps. Oh. Ah, makes it sound so intense. <laughs> you know, makes it sound so intense. Hey Google, tell me a joke. Why did the banker switch careers? She lost interest. <laughs> she lost. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Fuck. All right, so this car's already customized here. We'll have a look. A look, see. Well, it's it's got my original just like slap tune basically. I believe it's at 25, 26. Anyways, there it is. <laughs> Let's get this, guys. We're against the good old Casperol Celica rally car. That good old ST205 power, baby. for making the WRC famous worldwide. Like, it wasn't just about that European flair anymore in the WRC. When this car hit the WRC, it was like, man, it really opened up everything. And, and like, that was also around the time when, you know, Gran Turismo and video games and different things were starting to get really cool, right? So people were really able to recognize some of their favorite cars and stuff and be like, oh man, that's the car from <laughs> Gran Turismo 3, right? And people would lose their mind seeing these cars in real life, right? Holy... <laughs> we just flew like a hundred feet. And this car is a, a serious legend, man. This car is amazing. need to make a couple of adjustments. Come on. Bro. <laughs> There's a couple adjustments I need to make. on this car is amazing. This is one of those rally cars that like actually does whatever you tell it to do. Like it really uh, it really listens well. Whoa. A few adjustments though like I said that I need to make. Come on. Tighten up. Yes. 
small, uh, need a slight brake adjustment, slight um, suspension adjustment, slight transmission adjustment. <laughs> Slight downforce adjustment as well. <laughs> that car's so good. Feels a little heavy, but that's what I'm gonna fix. Ooh. It's also my first race of the day as well. I, I haven't played in a couple of days again. I have to like split this game up every few days to record it because it really takes a toll on uh, on my uh, hands and that man. This game really beats up beats up the body. <laughs> All right. Uh, very slight. Uh, no, not camber. I want a toe to be toe. Put a little bit harder on the brakes there. A little bit faster through the gears. Is it 91? We'll go down by two then. I'm happy. <laughs> It's hard to find the right uh, gate on this track, really. The turns are kind of strange, to be fair. Like in reverse? Oh, 
starting to get my rally feedback again. side there. That's actually a, a much better angle to have. Jeez, that was huge. Good old Castrol Salika. Keeping up. So I actually have a timer in the background, uh, and it's going to go off in five minutes. So in five minutes, like during this race, I'm actually going to have to hit pause real quick and uh, go run and shut it off. Lay down, lay down. Lay down, I'll lay down. <laughs> if you're wondering what I set a timer for, I made a chocolate milk, and I put it in the freezer. But obviously, if you leave it in there for too long, it'll be become a literal ice cube, right? <laughs> So I put a 30 minute timer on it. Put a 30 minute timer on it to make sure that, uh, you know, it gets cold, as cold as I want it to be. But at the same time it doesn't just like freeze solid. Because <laughs> I forgot about it or something. Because 
because I constantly do that. I'll make a chocolate milk, you guys. I'll put it in the freezer with the intention of just making it like nice and nice and cold, right? Like super cold. But then I'll totally end up forgetting about it. <laughs> Go into my freezer like three hours afterward and see it in there like, ah, oh, goddamn. <laughs> I gotta wait like another three hours for it to freaking unthaw. Come on! <laughs> so I just put a half an hour timer on it. just like wiggles its way around a turn. It, it kind of feels like you're like gonna lose control or something. But it really is just like the way that the, the balance of this car is. It's kind of like rocks back and forth as you're driving. If you don't pay any attention to it, you can drive this car perfectly fine. But if you pay attention to it, right, you'll end up over adjusting or um, uh, fixing Quote, unquote, fixing a problem, unfortunately, whatever problem you think you're fixing, there actually really is no problem. It's kind of hard to explain. Just sort of let it do what it, <laughs> let it do what it's doing, you know? Uh, let it be free, you guys. slider on that turn there. Whoa. Easy. Whoa, fucking hook. Totally fucked that up. <laughs> At least it was a, a decent recovery, though. There's my timer, you guys. Just give me one moment. Beep, beep. Oh, yeah. My chocolate milk is perfect, you guys. Huh? My God, it's perfect. It really is perfect. A half an hour is like the perfect time. It, it, it like makes it, it's like, how do I explain it? There's like a rim of ice, just like a rim of ice, and the rest of it is just like freezing cold, but still like actually liquid. Let's get this, you guys. 
Oh, I got the chocolate milk of de destiny next to me now, so... <laughs> all night, to be honest. Oh, no, 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 Please. Oh. Yeah, the corner of that bridge there, um, I mean, I guess it goes without saying, but you really don't want to hit that. <laughs> that. That shit will stop your ass dead, right down to zero. Oh, no, no. I fucking love this game, dude. Holy crap. <laughs> savage, you guys. Absolutely savage. <laughs> this car's fucking mental. Oh man, th this car in the uh, fucking Colin McRae rally, you guys, god damn. Yeah, th this car is actually amazing in so many different games, like even some of the WRC games, this car is the king, you know? Not too bad, it was a really hard booty tap, but we didn't actually, uh, too much speed or anything there. Still carry out a, a, an actual uh, 118. God, I love this car, dude. The handling on this car is fucking crazy. Turn, turn, my love. Just as I say that, <laughs> we lose good, lose traction. <laughs> <laughs> Back there stalking us. And, uh. <laughs> yeah, the e brake on this car is absolutely perfect. You just have to know how long to keep your hand on it for. Which is not a very long time. You really want to just sort of tap it. Tap it, and if the booty does not go out sideways as far as you want it to. Keep holding it for just a split second longer, man. <laughs> this car really dances, man. I absolutely love this car. Best rally car ever made, man. What's up, boy? <laughs>
Think you're watching me? I'm watching you, motherfucker. <laughs> Keeping my eye on them, you guys. <laughs> Woo! The final rally race, you guys. Oh, let's see it. The final rally race. That was the end right there of rally. We have officially completed rally. Boom! So ya. I love watching rally replays. It's so good. Hell yeah. Oh, Salika. Oh. the Salika guys, we drove the Salika. Man, we drove almost every rally car, to be fair. Yeah, baby. Oh, that's the Proto. Proto Lancer. Lancer 7. Don't we get the Escudo as well? Yeah, we get the Escudo. Suzuki Escudo. Yeah, that shit has like fucking 900 something horsepower, and then you do the turbo, and it has like 1,800 horsepower. <laughs> It's absolutely ridiculous. God, we have so much money and no reason to use it. Like, well, no, not 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 no reason to use it, but no purpose really. Money really does uh, serve no purpose at the end of this game. You just have to have the right cars. I think we already had the uh, seven proto, no? Yeah. Yeah, this is the one that we drove already. We could actually sell all of our rally cars at this moment right now, to be fair. There's the Escudo. <laughs> 973 horsepower. And yeah, it goes up to like 1,800 something when you do the turbo upgrade. Yeah, 1,800 horsepower. 1,800 horsepower. It's, it's the fastest accelerating car in the game easily but uh, it's like almost impossible to drive on like a circuit it's like if you try to bring it out to like Laguna Seca or <laughs> Rome or something like that yeah you're not gonna have a very fun time it has a shit ton of horsepower but that's really all all that it does have <laughs> oh let's go look at what we're gonna do next wait a minute wait a minute check our game style 75.9 Oh, yes, you could see that we had the uh, Nissan R390. So if you remember, we did the Gran Turismo All-Stars Championship. And if you remember me saying that I'll keep doing that race over and over again until we get the Nissan R390, well, here it is. This is the best car in the game, excluding Formula One. That is the fastest car in the game, other than Formula One. Like, if you take Formula One out of the equation, that is the fastest car in this game. And she is my absolute lovely boo. This is the car that I was hoping to get at the end of Gran Turismo 2, but we weren't actually lucky enough to get it. Well, at least I get to drive it in this one, baby. God damn, that car's so nice. It's like a skyline on steroids. That's basically what it is. Uh, yeah, let's... Uh, what do we got left here? We have the Special Stage 11 and the uh, Cote d'Azur Endurance. Um, yeah, we have the Gran Turismo World Championship. I think that's it. Shit, you guys. No way. Woo. So I guess the next thing that we would do would be this. 500 grand. 
Let's see what cars are here. I might actually drive Formula in this one, just for the hell of it. Because it's Cote de Zero Mistral, right? Oh, it is actually, uh... It is actually P1s and stuff. It's P1, P1 slash GT, just like the last, uh... Just like the Grand Turismo All-Stars. Same cars. Why not? Representing Team Zonda, you guys. Oh, shoot. This car is very hard to drive. So this is going to be a <coughs> difficult endurance race. <laughs> Stage one. Just want to make sure that there's nothing else. Thank you guys for coming out and watching some sort of Gran Turismo 3. I'm going to tune this lovely lady here. And uh, we'll be ready for the uh, Cote d'Azur Endurance Race. Hey man, freaking love you guys. <laughs> Wish you guys the total best. Hope you guys have a freaking awesome rest of your day. And I'll see you guys at the Cote d'Azur Endurance Race. Oh, it's gonna be good, you guys. It's gonna be good. Nice. Yeah, those are actually uh, pretty nice looking. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna get that oil change. Yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye, bye.